Yo, welcome back to another episode of Super Replay. We're playing Luigi's Mansion. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. This is episode seven. It's about five episodes longer than we thought. We thought this was going to be really short. I got Tim Turry playing the game. Hey. He's doing a hell of a job. Trying. Sucking everything up. I got Dan Reichert here as well. Hello. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing great. And then Jeff Cork. Boo. Ha! <laughs> ah, ah, you got I me. I was just surprising you. It, wasn't the, <laughs> it had nothing to do with previous episodes. It was a good pun. So I'm going to say it again. This is probably the last episode. This, yep. I, I am completely with you on this one. Yeah, I think this will be the final one. It's we always only... tend to undershoot these. Yeah. Yep. And uh, this is the first episode we're recording since we aired the first episode on the site, which is a little confusing, mm. but we got to look at the comments, <laughs> see what people were saying. Go on the ceiling, Tim. Can't. Pretty much everybody's positive on this one. Everybody's glad mm -hmm. we did this as a super replay. Mm hmm God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Can we get some of those installed to the office? It sounds dangerous. Dust piles or those, those No, warps? the flippy gravity guys. I would work on the ceiling. If that was an option, I'd have a desk yeah. on the ceiling. It's just like one of the... It's kind of like the standing desks. Just one, one bigger obnoxious thing to do. I've got the ceiling desk. Yeah. <laughs> You're just dropping <laughs> pencils on people? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, that guy's scary. You know where you're going, Tim? Oh, yeah. You got it all figured out. Yeah, there's a Tim's map. Tim's on the ball. There's a map this time pointing us the way. Okay. Oh. I'm always sad to see a super replay in. These are always very fun. Yeah. yeah most this, of them have been great. This one's been very fun, too. What do you too. think our worst I, one was? That's, I was just going to ask that. That's a good question. Um, Overblood 2? Oh, Overblood 2 is rough. It was so rough. <clears throat> it's extremely rough. We couldn't understand the story. We had no idea what was going on. The audio would cut out. I have not we seen... We got lost. We didn't have certain things that we needed. The whole episode, we lost progress. Yeah, um, we actually went through episodes, <laughs> like multiple episodes, without anything getting accomplished. Yeah, oh. no, and actually having to go back further than we were when we started That's the episode. Right. Um, I haven't seen the majority of Galarians. Was that one generally? No, it was one. Yeah, I like that one. Was yeah. that, how long did Galarians go? I thought it was like nine or something. There was another one where it was just close calls, like really rough boss fights yeah. without yeah, saving okay. after or, for a while. Someone, I, I can't remember who it was, someone was defending Galarians as like being a really good game. Didn't Which look I, like I, it. I think maybe it was a time and place thing. Go well, back and freeze some water. I think Overblood Two is probably the worst. But that one yeah. we had we had to do that one. We had to. It was Legacy, right? Yeah, yeah. And everybody's saying that Ill Bleed has to be Legacy as well. Uh huh. But we got burned before, without playing any of Overblood. I think we're gonna play some Ill Bleed before we determine if we're gonna do okay super replay. So we'll do it as an episode of replay. Okay. It looks really, really good. Yeah, but we'll see. You know, we're only going to get a small slice, like 20, 30 minutes. Good for our purposes. For, for Super Replay, yes. Yeah. yes. Are oh. we licensed to, uh, for Ill, Ill Bleed? Licensed for them? What? I think Reiner will understand that because he's an old man. What? What? Are you licensed to Ill, Ill Bleed? Oh, licensed to Ill. That's uh, Beastie Boys. Oh, it's Beastie Boys. I see, I'm going to pull out yes. all the Beastie Boys references I know. Okay. Uh, okay. Today, why not? What's that? Uh, Paul's Boutique? Isn't that one? Yeah, that's another album. Okay. That's all a right. good one. That's a fantastic album. That's probably one of my favorite all albums right. of all time. All right. It's fantastic. I'm going to say it one more time. You should listen to it. I, I enjoy the Beastie Boys. I think yeah, I have that album. They all have beards and whatnot and play 70s music. So. <laughs> Giant sideburns. No, I, I enjoy the Beastie Boys. Jeff, I never really thought about what kind of music you listen to. I guess it's I'd take you for like a smooth jazz. Nope, it's only the Beastie Boys. And the Pixies. And the Pixies, I like Pixies a lot. Like Pixie Sticks? Yep. We were talking about being good for Super Replay purposes, and speaking of which, Jason, actually, and Reiner, you also know my Super Replay pick for this year, mm -hmm. I think would be one of the absolute best ever, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I've watched a lot okay. of videos of this game. I uh, it, It's been talked about in some forms before, but I really think it could be like one of the absolute best Super Replays. So well, when I win, it. when I win this thing, I, I can't wait to play that game. You're disqualified, aren't you? Nope. You're not allowed to do it? Nope, I'm in. Because you can't... Defending he, champion, Yeah, yep. he said he'd be bought off. Like, he could be bought off. Oh. And that and $500, yeah, and then yeah. you said no. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, as the defending champion, I will win, and we will play this great, great game. No, there'll be a technicality. Don't worry. <laughs> Tim, do you have yours picked out? Yeah, it's all set. Okay. Yep, I got mine picked out. Jeff, you got yours picked out? I do. Are we all in the so bad it's good, or if this is actually good, I want to play it category? I'm actually doing a very important game in the history of gaming. Are, are you know not kidding? the time they watch this? 
What's that? Do people know that by the time they watch this? Our picks? Yeah. They probably will. So we're all talking yeah. like... <laughs> so all of you quietly. watching totally agree with me. All right. Yeah, I guess they would totally know. But we just yeah. can't tell each other. Space Except you and Reiner know, yeah. each, know each other's? Oh, yeah. We had to tell Reiner's, so yeah. Well, you don't Reiner know mine, but... I don't I know, know yours. yours. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yep. So there's a lot of confusion for you. Learn mm -hmm. your lesson. I'm gonna try to learn. We just gotta stop talking. We either gotta record these right before we air them, which I, everybody's gonna go, yeah, yeah, Just live. That, just that. live. But it's impossible with coordinating here. Yeah, I don't know if people understand that we also make a magazine and, and write game reviews and news and stuff. We yeah, do a we, lot of that stuff. We try to sync them up as closely as we can, but it doesn't always happen. This guy's awesome. This looks yeah, annoying. I don't know if that's the right way to yeah. do it. It's <laughs> like Mr. Freeze. So, Dan... Do you prefer this kind of boss who has, like, the line of attacks, or do you like the guy who jumps up and makes, like, a ring of, like, concussion rings appear underneath his butt? Well, there are many that do both. Yeah. I love, like, Devil May Cry bosses that, like, yeah. jump up and do a shockwave thing, but then he'll uh -huh. throw, like, an axe or something at you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a place for both. Do you like the ones that get very angry and then, like, spin around really fast? Oh, and then you have to like dodge them until yeah. they're done. Like, like yeah, it's almost like a 3D version of the Mario Koopa Kids, where you step on their head and then they go yep, back yep, and yep, forth. Yep. Yeah, yeah, uh, that always scares me. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay. The worst ones are the teleporting bosses that will teleport right behind you. Oh, and oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yep. I would say that the straight line is easier, usually easier to dodge than the the blast, the ring blast, the radio blast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes that can be difficult to read by yep. judging by the camera system. No, I'm not on 3DS. Whoa. We turn up the 3D Good all the night, way. Good night, Tim Turry. No, oh, no, guys, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll just be playing this game. Okay. Uh, no, I, I I got worked by that guy. Um, I think there's nothing that makes me matter when you're fighting a boss and you're about a quarter of the way through, or three quarters of the way through, and then they recharge all their health. Yes, yes. As soon as I can see that's what's happening, like they kind of vibrate and then mm -hmm. you can't get me. Oh. Or there's just a little panel on the floor they have to walk to and recharge. Like, no, don't go over yeah. there. Don't you go over there. The interesting thing about the design of the bosses in this game, if that's what you can call these ghosts. Sure. Is you might not see their whole attack pattern ever. Like hmm. Tim might have been able to get that guy before he did anything, right? I hope. Like you could just suck him up the whole time and then, uh, then he's done. Or he can work you. And you see it multiple times over. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen, Tim? Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like get a good uh, hold on him, yep. and then uh, icicle is gonna fall on me, and it's gonna break it right away. Okay. Um, and then I'll get him the next time. Finally, after getting hit by uh, a row of the stalagmites once, and then um, I'll get a really good one on him, and then I'll I'll be pretty good after that. Is it stalactites on the Tights ceiling? Tights from the ceiling, mites from the ground. Why do you know that? Uh, the M reminds me of yeah, ones coming from mites. the ground. They're like and T, and then the a T column is both of them together. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice way to remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Science. Handy. Slag mites, slag tight. Yeah, I'll remember that now. Yeah. Cool. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> or don't, he's not your boss. Aw, oh, that's adorable. Yeah, that didn't even hurt me. He just wanted a hug. Five. Hug it oh, out. Yeah, it, it finally hurt me. Oh, he's yes. <laughs> Oh, what are you looking at, Luigi? Focus! Oh, man. I just... I don't know about this dumb C-stick. It's the worst thing. Alright, sorry. I, I'm getting a little tired of, like, these, these late-game rooms with, like, all the ghosts in them yeah. and stuff. I saw someone in the comments uh, saying that you weren't, you didn't figure out that like B turns your flashlight it on. It does, off, but, but why not, does that's that matter? not that helpful. Like that doesn't that doesn't change that much. It just means like, oh hey guy, hey dummy, you don't have to turn away from every ghost in order to you know get them to appear again. Um, okay. It's not that helpful, but I I just have some a few problems with just like the core gameplay mechanics of uh, using a C stick and and the fact that it's just. Inverted by default since I've weaned myself off of inversion and stuff like that. Okay. But I'm going to do this stuff and then I'm going to uh, get health and probably save. I don't want to do this again if I die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice. It's a nice yeah. little chime. Here we go. Don't Round blow it. Round two. Don't blow it? Nope. Okay. Do it right. All right, I'll do it right, guys. 
So, Dan, do you ever think about Mike Tyson? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm still, still going to beat him. You know. It's not Has gonna Joe be... uh, said anything about uh, his showdown? Mm-hmm. With Tyson? Not the Oh, showdown. no, no. I, I want to watch that. Whenever you guys are all ready, I would love to sit in and watch that. Like, that sounds fantastic. Have Joe go for it? Yeah, that's the plan. I couldn't do it, so Joe's going to give it a shot. Is but that... here's the thing that's horse crap, oh, is that Joe has been practicing at home. He has said that he has been playing it at that's home. Not that's not right. That's not even time. We've gone into this before. You you would play, like, at your sister's house and stuff like that. That is how Joe decides to use his I, time, Dan. No. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. But I went, in, I went in after not really playing for years. And that turned out that really well. That wasn't his fault. Mm. It really worked out for the best, too, Dan, that, that approach, so... It, it sped up the video process. I think it was just one 15-minute episode. Yeah, yeah you went so. just straight through, no save states necessary. Yeah, it's really easy for Jason. Oh, yeah. what hit you there? I ru- you slide into him. Uh, which is, I think, incredibly annoying. But, you know, that's just me. Some people may love that. Suck him! Yes! You got him, Tim. Now, Ryan, I have a uh, reason to believe that you are intentionally... Uh, saying the word suck more in order to get any sort of reaction out of Dan at this point. Hey, I'm, I'm being an adult here, aren't I? Well, yeah, he's been pretty great. Yeah. You're, you're an d- adult by definition of the word. Vacuum yeah. him. Have you seen me in this episode? He said suck a million times. Have I you seen me say I, a single thing? You will sometimes, there'll be a little tick. Uh, I see a little tick come out of you a okay. little bit. Um, uh, I, I, a, a blink, a just like a, a very no, you know deliberate right. blink, or you turn your head a little bit. You can tell you're fighting something inside. I'm immune to this kind of immature humor at this point. He can now say whatever he wants. Suck. It has more action to it. Vacuum. Eh, it loses yeah, yeah, some of the yeah, power. Also, yeah. 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 no. Go ahead. You're talking about. Doesn't pump you up as much, Tim. You're talking about the suction of a vacuum cleaner. That's yeah, fine. Exactly. That's, that's completely <laughs> makes sense. It's, a, it's science. Man, I like adult Dan way better than the other Dans that we have in here. I am an adult. A little bit. You know, the Beast right. Boys have a song called uh, Sounds of Science, which has nothing to do with vacuums, but um, the title says science. <laughs> which I think kind of reiterates uh, Tim's point about science. Is that upstairs, Tim? Yeah, I think it's way upstairs. Oh, this game. Jerks. Is that the last room? Uh, it, I think get, it was. We're getting there. Let's take a look see. We're downstairs. Oh, that's still locked. Well, that one. Fine. Oops, that weird one. Done. Locked. Ooh. I think we only have two rooms left, really. Wow. Be- besides, uh, where do you guys think the showdown is? You think we're just going to go to the roof? Or? It's got to be a roof. Yeah, I'd yeah. assume. It's the biggest arena. Or that alternate reality that we go to every once in a while. It's cool. The baby battle. There's an alternate reality? Yeah, it was like a weird dimensional shift that Luigi mm. like went out into outer space. Yeah, or that's weird. Yeah, the rainbow Oh, road. yeah, with the weird moon where he blew up the moon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that whole was thing. bizarre. Yeah, you made the moon explode. Yeah. Luigi just seems unfazed by that. <laughs> it's been so long since I beat this. Don't you? I would imagine that you're going to go back to that, the hidey hole where Luigi <laughs> sticks his face out of that monster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. you'll probably get teleported to another dimension. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, into the frame with Mario, maybe. Yeah. Mm, maybe he'll be like possible. in a cage, like a ghost cage. It'll be oh, like that, oh. that purpley kind of ectoplasm stuff, and he'll yep. be like hanging from it. Are not. they going to call him Boozer? <sighs> That'd be pretty good. They have to. That would be pretty yeah. good. Missed opportunity yeah. if they don't. The entire team should be fired if they don't. Oh, there he is. How many people that worked on this game do you think are still working with Nintendo? 74, probably. <laughs> That's pretty close, yeah. Good yeah. guess. 74%. It's actually it's 76. 74 individuals. people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a big team back then. Yeah. A lot of them probably moved on to other things. It's life. Jeff, you're so wise. I try. You're just like that sort of historical. Just being able to like pull that off the top of your head, I think, is yeah. just something that we take for granted. Sometimes. Reminds me of a Beastie Boys song called "Body Moving." <laughs> you may have heard that. I had a silly music video. Body moving. Yeah, I had a great one. Uh huh. Body, body, recipe. body moving. Body uh-huh. moving. Body, body, body. Is that? Is that it? <laughs> I think you're trying to do the right song. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. good. Um. Oh, it's still upstairs. More by that big it's heart. Up all the stairs in the safari room. That guy didn't even nail all the nails in all the way. No. He didn't nail it. He blew it. <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's practical humor. <laughs> you think you're going to have to have fire? Uh, you think so? I don't know. Oh, I just accidentally sucked fire into a vacuum. 
Bowser is kind of the fire elemental, right? Yeah, I probably yeah. But you did shoot fire at him in Mario Brothers 1. It's true. Is there really any ice enemy in Mario lore? Hmm. Those penguins. Uh, in Mario Kart that and you run into every damn time you turn around the corner? And in Galaxy. Yeah. M64. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone that shoots ice. Kamek and Wizrobe throw magic geometry shapes. Yeah. Hmm. All right, this is the second to last locked door in the entire game. It's got a snowflake on it. Mm -hmm. Or is that a flower? I don't know what the relevance of that is. There's a ghost in here I read. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, hey, more paintings. Vincent Van Boo. <laughs> What's going Vincent on? Vincent Van Gogh. Guy. Oh. Yeah. You gotta abandon the, uh, the boo every once in a while. So he, it's like it all originates from him. You filthy swine. Uh, he, looks, he looks like the uh, the most interesting man in the world. A little bit. Oh, he's gonna bring pain oh, to life and I fight him. No. Oh, hey guys. Geez. Yeah, you got all three of them Triple at once. shot. Boom. Wow. Your anger is making you stronger, unlike what Yoda said. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, you gotta- you really gotta take these guys by surprise. These are probably like some of the main ghosts that the, uh, using B button is necessary for. Oh, that- the, uh, the shock that- that he goes through and gets stunned little... is a little annoying. As is just getting hit and having like a <laughs> five second recovery animation. Yeah, and the fact that you can never upgrade your health or anything, and you can't ever find health in the rooms for the most part. Yeah. I swear to God, I... There we go. Worst ghost in the game, Tim. Which one? Oh, these guys are pretty rough. Just on, like, the ones that grabbed you from behind or weren't great. Um, the ceiling guys that were just, like, back to back to back. Mm, you guys yeah. suck, too. That, that I just don't understand. Like, I, I blasted him with the light, and he just disappears. I don't know if I have to wait for him to punch, like, wind up. And that's oh, the man. trick. That's annoying. I mean, I may have just not figured out the trick to some of these ghosts, because you don't see them... Right. Some of them you don't see all the time. Maybe the guy in the comments was lying. <laughs> there we go. He just never wants this to end. That was probably <laughs> the trick, was I have to wait for him to start winding up. Okay, and then he's shining the light in his face? Yeah. Okay. Of course, I don't figure out the trick to all these ghosts until the, like, boss rush at the end. Yeah, kind of yeah. a cool challenge here. Yeah, very Capcom-y. Yeah, this totally is the Mega Man room where you fight all those guys. <laughs> Now, I don't uh, even understand what happened there. You know what I mean? That's 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 those... awful. This looks really rough. This is like one of those Looney Tunes cartoons where you can see the artist's hand come down and yep. Bugs Bunny's mm -hmm. yelling at him. Or like Comic Zone. Yeah, yeah. Held in equally high regard as Looney Tunes. There was a Bugs Bunny game on the Super Nintendo that had the hand. Like a platformer. Like, yeah. Hmm. I remember there were all the Game Boy ones, like Crazy Castle or whatever. Those are awful. <laughs> Awful? Awful. There are a lot of them. Those are just like yeah, they just, endless door they games. Never right? stop. Just constantly going through doors. <laughs> hey, Jeff, do you watch the new Looney Tunes? <laughs> no. There are new Looney Tunes? I think so, right? That can't be. Really? I, I feel that every Looney Tunes episode I've ever seen was made in like 1940. Yeah. Like, right? Weren't they all made like a long time yeah. ago and they just get re replayed constantly? Exactly. And the humor is kind of timeless. Yeah. I watched the Aristocats. On yesterday, the cats, Aristocats, not okay, Aristocrats, cats. right, not right, Gilbert Godfrey. the one with the the cats that are Aristocrats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It has yeah. a Siamese cat, and it. This movie was made in like the seventies. Yeah, yeah. Siamese cat wears a symbol on his head, uses chopsticks. I think I remember that. The voice is very, uh, very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Racist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, guess what kind of front teeth he has? <laughs> oh. They're not big, weird buck teeth, are they? Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Made in the 70s. Maybe in the late 60s, I don't know. Okay. So, there you go. <laughs> Did they ever make a game based on that? I feel like every Disney property oh, has racism? some sort yeah, of Yeah, it was also called Punch-Out. Uh, Disney's Racism, the game? Yep. <laughs> Punch-Out gets a pass, though. Punch-Out super racist. Oh, hurt. What's these guys' deal again? Yeah, fire? They are shy guys that are Whatever. dead. This is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, that noise. The duck fire. 
You'll get caught up in it. <laughs> Duck fire. <laughs> oh, these are the stupid Jeff ones. Jeff ones? That's oh, all he only talks about bananas. Yep. I'm good at the, the number. What? All right. I know someone in the comments is going to correct me. Why I can hit the trigger when the number shows up. Sometimes it totally gets them. Sometimes it doesn't. If it's another timing thing, if it is a timing thing. I think that's why I never played through this whole game, is that I was just always kind of confused by how these systems worked. Oh, you never beat it? No, no. Good. You break your back. Uh -huh. So are we officially getting to that point where 3DS is pretty cool now? Because it took a while for DS to get there, oh, and amazing. then it did. And like now, I know, uh, Reiner, you're playing Fire Emblem as well, and I'm loving yeah. Fire Emblem. There's a lot of games coming out that look really cool. Yeah, yeah. I think this is that year that DS really, or 3DS really does well. And in the first episode, you said that you regretted buying your 3DS. I did? Mm hmm Huh. I did. I, I shouldn't have bought I bought it on day one, and so even with the Ambassador games that I never really played much of, you know, it's... I, I shouldn't have spent two hundred fifty dollars when I could have waited. So, how to do this? But now I got an XL. I've got Fire Emblem. Uh, it's it's awesome. I don't know how I ever fought these guys. <laughs> there. No, I don't. I'm hitting the. I don't know. I don't know how I ever got these guys. And just all the reactions from Luigi, just stuttering all the, the gameplay, is just incredibly frustrating. I don't, I don't know. Are you still happy with your pick, Tim? Because it seems like the gameplay has gotten increasingly frustrating. I don't know for if you. I'm just losing my patience or what. Like, are there any pro tips online for how to beat the green ghosts? I don't have my phone. Uh, but I did look up something else on my phone. Uh oh. And there is a new Looney Tunes show. Well, good. That'll help me get these ghosts. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll take your mind off it. Uh, so it, it centers on Bugs and Daffy okay, leaving the woods and moving not. to the suburbs. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know they lived in the woods. I guess so. Well, because that's where Elmer Fudd's always going after him. Yeah. Oh, Wiley e. Coyote lived in the desert. These are called garbage can ghosts. I'm looking. Jason suggests using the camera on them, so I'm using the camera on them. They throw banana peels. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm reading the Mario Power Tennis. Wait for them. <laughs> They throw banana peels onto the court, causing players to slip. Oh, that's so, helping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan. Uh, and there's a new Looney Tunes movie in the works, a reboot which film. Is, <laughs> well, how about that? <laughs> you want to tell right me what, uh, what Powers Booth is up to these days? <laughs> okay. It's on Nashville, actually. Okay, Garbage Can Ghost is large and green. And he does not attack directly. He appears out of thin air, much as on a banana. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, let's go. It doesn't say anything about killing them. Good. This is the official Luigi's Mansion wiki. Does it fight the big ghost now? Oh my... No, I just clearly have to get these guys now, and I, I just don't know... Do I have to, like, blow the bananas back at them? No, it doesn't work at all. I'm really good at sucking up the banana peels, though. I listen before you're, people are going to go into the comments and they're going to be like, "Oh, Tim, you you guys didn't pay attention to this part of that part." I apologize. Yeah, I'm doing a bad job right now. Um, I was better at probably I was probably better at Blue Stinger than I am at this game. Right Don't now. beat yourself up, Tim. Nah, I'm I'm I'm, pre I'm I'm getting pretty down on myself about this. I'm, I'm kind of bummed out. Hey, the Looney Tunes originally aired from 1930. <laughs> oh, God damn it, 1930 <laughs> to 1969. How do you beat oh. the green ghost in Luigi's mansion? If this if this works. Let me check that. That's Siri. Would you like me to search the web for how do you beat the green ghost in Luigi's mansion? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Yes. It didn't do the beepy thing. Oh, I'll press the button. Siri sucks. Searching the web for how do you beat the green ghost in Luigi's mansion? <laughs> And what did you get? Uh, they appear in Mario Power Tennis for the GameCube. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Wait, the best strategy for all ghosts, especially the green ghosts, is. Oh, and then I have to pull up a giant FAQ, and there's no way I'm going to be able to find all this. Oh, Christ. 
Yeah, no. Well, that's the end of our super replay, yeah. everyone. Thanks yeah, for watching. I really thought that we would have, you know, just beaten it um, instead of getting stuck on three green ghosts. But hey, you know, for better or for worse, this is this is how we do super replays. You know, we kind of just wing it sometimes, and and I guess I would have expected more from Luigi's Mansion as far as garbage can ghost. Can you just do they disappear when you put the light on them, or can you kind of hold them longer? No, they they, they go instantly. This is this is me not doing anything. Can you do the light and suck at the same time? No. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I you did I, it? I wish I had any. You got one. Okay. I have no no idea what happened differently that time. I'll just keep doing whatever you're doing. Hey, Tim, can you put the light and suck on at the same time? Uh, no. By design, the uh, flashlight and vacuum cleaner cannot be held. I was just trying to repeat three. what happened there. Oh, gotcha. I did try hitting the Mario button at the same time as the vacuum, and that's the only thing that changed. Ooh, that it's weird. Good. They All these things say that you basically just do it like any other ghost. Like this says, they don't attack you directly. Instead, they appear, blah, throw it, and then they disappear. This makes it more difficult to catch them since Luigi must avoid the banana skins while trying to catch them. I mean, everything just says, catch them, dummy. All right, Tim, you can do this. Oh, shit. Make them feel like they've won by slipping on their banana peel. Good, good strategy. Wait, they slip on... Oh, he slipped on one. At no point have I understood what Close the range. currency is here. One to go. Andy dropped a heart for you. Nice. The currency, it's for your rewards after the game. So, so why is it always just sitting there in the corner of the screen if it doesn't have any, you know, bearing on what you're doing now? Just to let you know how well you're doing. Hmm. It's like the, the scores in Mario, Super Mario which, Brothers. Which are also stupid. Nice, Tim. So, Tim, what was the trick here? I got closer to him. At no point has proximity <laughs> been uh -oh. a factor at all, which is just sort of silly in my mind, but... Huh. <laughs> it's a hell of a puzzle. Get closer. Mario. Oh, this looks annoying. I never really figured out what to do with these guys, either. Same thing, maybe? I guess. Yeah! Oh, wow, well, that, that definitely works. In two hearts. Okay. Booyah. That's good. Boom. All right. And now just All him. right, Van Gore. Ooh, that's a good name. That's his actual name. Ah. He needs to uh, speak normal ghost. I don't uh -huh. know what he's saying. You say that only one of my creations is left? Buzzies cannot be. What? What does that mean? Zootororus. I don't know. Shut the doors? I don't know. Oh, that's gonna suck if he kills you and you have to do all that stuff again. Hey, hey, I'm we don't talk suck. like that. This yeah. looks really easy, though, so you should be fine. I think don't, the challenge... Don't talk the, like that. The challenge was the ghosts in capturing him. He himself is probably gonna be a pushover. Oh. What's that bouncy crazy thing? They've been through the entire game. It's a bad mushroom. Yeah. Oh. Boom. There you go, Timmy. Oh, he was painting a treasure chest. Hey, that's an important looking key. Ooh, oh, yeah. That's it. End game. He done did it. Yep. Basement time. Oh, man. And is that go to where Mario is? Mansion. Yep. yep. Oh, boy. There's a boo in here. I don't care. <laughs> you 43 out of 50 and you don't care? Tell you I don't care about no go ghost. Down there. Wouldn't that be awful? If what? You go down there and it says you got to do 50 ghosts. You need 44. Is there a is there, like, a, um, a mirror upstairs? I think there's a mirror on the other side of the, the, uh, the, the upstairs. Ooh, that's a really good heart. Mm-hmm. He's been getting that for, it's probably the 30th time he's gotten that. It's still really, really good. It's the greatest. It's big. I don't even think I've seen another one in the game like it, which makes no. me like it more. They're all, like, little 10 guys, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I think there's bathrooms up and to the left. I'll just warp back and save, maybe. 
Him pulling out the Game Boy every time he plays reminds me of Bond looking at the watch every time. Oh, yeah. yeah too. Except for in this one, you're not getting shot by a bunch of a-holes while you're trying to look at your watch. Yep. That was so, so annoying. Hmm. Do you think from the amount of whistling he, he does, his lips will get stuck in a permanent position? He is chapstick. He has a lot of it. Oh, I do have to go downstairs one. Okay. And then I can save. Yeah. Maybe I can figure out how to open the outhouse without get out getting hurt. Yeah, Tim, as soon as you get in there, I think it's going to be King Boo. Yeah? And then probably Boozer. Yeah. Boozer. Now, Tim, do you know? I know you said you've done some research and no, stuff. No, no, I've done You don't know what the boss is? Okay. Yeah. That's, just, there's just no way that's just acceptable. Like, it has to be a thing you can avoid. They don't even put enemies in save rooms in the original Resident Evils. And this one you can't save without getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, here we go. End game. It's just downstairs. That's not downstairs. We need to go around the corner. The yeah. Oh god, it's locked. That door never got unlocked. <laughs> it's silly. I wonder if there was any way I ever could. Oh, you could use that, that mirror. Yeah, I don't think it's any shorter. Might actually be longer. Whoa. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and out of there. Just this grizzled veteran just not phased anymore by these guys. <laughs> Have there been a lot of games that do that, that kind of completely change your character? As far you know, as? From, you know, obviously there's, there's the Zeldas where you start as a boy and then you become an adult. I mean, don't they I mean, kind of try that with the new Tomb Raider? No, because she stays the same pretty much through the whole game, but Isn't right? she supposed to be this, like, you know, young girl, first adventure type thing, and then she becomes, like, super badass, crazy girl? I'm saying crazy complete girl? change. Like, there was a Tomb Raider where you played as young Laura, and then they showed old Oh, Laura. okay, like, just a different... Evolution okay. of a character, yeah. Well, I guess it's between different games with Metal Gear, you know. And you I guess get... the new Tomb Raider does count for to a certain degree, where she does go through, you know, an evolution of being accepting of killing and all that stuff, right? Yeah. But I'm saying just, like, a dramatic change. I mean, between Metal Gear 2 and 4, you got an old snake, but that's, you know, not in the course of one game. Um... Yeah, the same could be said of Splinter Cell. I mean, there's plenty of stuff like Fallout 3, where you do a little dumb thing as a baby, or Assassin's Creed 3, where you start out. Like, Assassin's Creed 3 Assassin's takes Creed you through lots really of different nice phases, yeah. yeah. Or Assassin's Creed uh, 2 as well, across yeah. those three games. Yeah, 2 does that. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. And Twisted Metal, Sweet Tooth goes through, you know, it's, it's basically like a heavy rain. He goes through a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Can you stick your head in the lion? Just the it's, other way? Yeah. <laughs> Reverse lion. That's <laughs> what I did last time. <laughs> Boo's got an exciting life. <laughs> Just give him a good long stare. Jeez. Ugh. I think those boos deserve a little revenge. I, no, Mario never really killed Booze. The big one. Yeah, oh, in 64? Run, right? Yeah. You can't even really freeze most of them. You just stay the hell away from them. You can do the spin jump on top of the big fat ah. ones in Mario World. Gullible soup. That's a good joke, but King Boo. <laughs> Ooh, oh, blue tongue. Spooky. <laughs> Boo. Boo tongue. Boo tongue. Looks like a Pez. Uh, oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wants to make me a painting. I know how you can make an instant blue tongue like that. You go get the Mr. Misty or whatever they're called, the Dairy Queen, oh, the so blue good. raspberry. Do you ever do that? And do you ever do a Mr. Misty? No. Do you add soft serve to uh -uh. it? It is so good. What the hell is a Mr. Misty? It's just a slushy. Oh, okay. But really good. And you add... Uh, Soft serve into it. I didn't know you it's, could do that. Yeah, it's it's tasty. Is that like In and Out Burger getting the secret sauce? Ah, they think they're on there. I think they call them floats. Keep scrolling that text. Best thing I did <laughs> was I got a Shamrock Shake McFlurry at McDonald's uh, a week or two ago. I got a Oreo McFlurry, but I had them use the Shamrock Shake green like soft serve instead of ice cream. It was like a mint chocolate, just amazing. Oh, it was so so good. That was a day of many firsts for you, Dan. I had my first Big Mac. Yep, it was good, and it's, you loved it. It's a tasty burger. Yeah. I don't know why I was so stupid about it for so long. Hey, I've seen that guy before. It turned into Bowser. Into Mario Bowser's did? mouth. Good night. Peach turned into Bowser in Mario 64 in a painting. 
Here we go. Is this the roof, indeed? The boof. <laughs> the boof. That doesn't work, guys. <laughs> that's just trying to do one letter. Luigi. This is this a straight up Bowser that, fight? That's just Bowser. They had him on file. They're like, here you go. We already <laughs> got this part taken. <laughs> oh, we already rendered him for Sunshine. His damn tail or, Remember uh, in Sunshine when you fight him when he's in like a jacuzzi? Like the last boss fight yeah. was Bowser in a green jacuzzi? That's really, and he's like 8,000 stories tall, which his size is so inconsistent over the years. Yeah, like this in the is first a one, big version of him, too. This is a pretty big one. He's, that's kind of like Mario 64 size. But like in the original one, like, you're almost as tall as Bowser. And then when they're playing uh, tennis or, or baseball or soccer or racing go-karts, mm -hmm. they're all like the same size. Yeah. Get one of those! Shoot it at him! That's working. Look at his tail. It's a good looking Bowser. He's alright. His hair is doing some like windy physics stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Get it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you deserve it. Yeah, you totally deserve it. <laughs> and here's your exam. Everything looks good, <laughs> Mr. Bowser. <laughs> Luigi's proctologist's for, office. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Alright, so that's clearly not yeah, it. He scoots that uh, column guy around, the big marble dumbbell thing. I tried sucking up some fire, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, Luigi hates that. These seem like the best bet. Yeah. yeah. Something with those bombs. Can you push them toward him? Oh, there! Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, that's not going to end well. Make him suck up the bombs. Yeah, make him suck up the damn bombs. Oh, does he always do that afterwards? Man, Luigi's getting worked. Yes. Luigi was not cut out for this at all. No. All right, yeah, I'll try to make him suck up the bombs. Did it look like that was... I mean, that makes sense, right? They were yep. still floating out there when he did a dumb uh, inhale thing. Is he shooting up? Like, what is he doing with his arm there? He's, He's making, making bombs, bombs materialize. Magic. That's not how the world works. There we go. Maybe you just need to stand in front of there him. There you go. Hey, it's gonna blow up on him. Oh, no. oh boy! Oh, that, that went as oh, poorly. No. That went as no. poorly as yeah. it could have gone. <laughs> that's great. No damage to Bowser, and now you're eaten. All right, that's fine. I just saved. But hey, this is a super replay, right? Yeah. This is what we're. This is not amping. This is real. You gotta dig down deep, Tim. I'm digging. And you want him to give you a challenge, right? Yeah. Mm -mm. You don't want Bowser <laughs> to push over. I want him to roll over. And expose his soft belly. You just don't want to grab his tail, spin him around, and throw him off a cliff. That was a pretty cool way to kill Bowser in Mario 64. The I like that a lot. So long, Bowser. Uh, he it, says that. It's great. He throws him into a bomb. And now we're throwing his bombs back at him. Whoa. That's true. They don't really switch up the formula with boss fights, do they? No. Hmm. Galaxy, you run around planets until you punch them into the sun. Yeah, but even then, you did that same boss fight again like three times, didn't you? It was pretty much... Yeah. Yeah. I Although, still love it. The galaxy's incredible. Don't game. get me wrong. Yeah. Mario Brothers 3 is pretty cool because you don't directly attack Bowser. You just keep dodging his jumps until he slams through all the bricks and then he falls to his death. So you don't even touch Which him. Which is similar to Mario 1. Mm, yeah, I guess. You just gotta get the axe. Just get past him and then dump him in the mm -hmm. lava, yeah. Which is even more... less direct. Yes. Alright, that's... That's your heart. That's good. Perfect. I think that's going to appear there each time. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, Tim, if you get hit in this hallway, you might as well come back in here and uh, get the refuel. Yeah. yeah. It's been pretty easy going so far. These guys haven't been giving me too much trouble. Spark guys are adorable. They remind yeah, me I of like uh, Bomb Chews from Zelda. The weird little mice that you can let go and they bomb. And those them. remind those me of cool. Pikachus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His chew okay. is mouse in Japanese. Uh, choo choo rocket. Oh, yeah, that game's fun. Mm hmm. So, everything about this game is pretty original, right? Like, mm -hmm. Luigi having a vacuum cleaner, that's never been in Mario lore. For them to kind of fall back on the exact same Bowser boss fight, a little yeah. weird, right? It is, it is a little strange. His head comes off, it's totally different. Or is it like totally classic, like, okay, here's a call out to, but this to is our old series, I, to Mario? I feel like this isn't a nostalgia game. I don't feel like this is something that plays on the memories of Mario or anything. I mean, like, all the music's original, you know, like, even stuff but like. But he's humming the old songs. He is? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not. I haven't noticed any old songs. 
No. That's no, no. That's a new one. Yeah, it just sounds like a classic because it's pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. And they've brought it back for like you know Smash Brothers levels and things mm -hmm. like that. And there was that one room with like the music where they're playing the original theme, mm. the ghost instruments. Nintendo is usually pretty quick to uh, to throw back, to, which it's one thing I love about them. I love playing like Mario Galaxy, and you go into some room that has some awesome orchestrated version of an old Mario theme. Yeah. While also having a, a ton of new great music. But to have it as your last moment in a game. Is that too much? Yeah, I don't know. Like, even like a ghost or skeleton Bowser would maybe be a little better. I would have liked a ghost Bowser. So. Hey, what? Little, his head comes up, that's a little different. And a ghost is in there, so it might really be a ghost Bowser. Basically, this boss fight feels like fighting all the boos, like when he comes out of it, like how inconsistent and hard it is to aim at them. That's my least favorite thing about it, I think. Because um, you saw how many times the ghosts ran away from me and I had to like track them down into another room. And what's going on with the camera here? Yeah. It's it's a GameCube Careful, game, drop I guess. It. <laughs> drop it! Drop it! Let's see where he lands. Oh, that was just not worth it. That was 20 health. It's just really frustrating because he doesn't throw bombs all the time and then when he does, sometimes he does that jump move. Yeah, you kind of narrow the gap I think when you, as soon as you get a bomb. Oh, you're going to jump? Okay, great. <laughs> So that means I don't get to throw any bombs no, at him this time. No, get a bomb. No, it's not, it's not even worth it. Yeah, you could have done it. Well, I mean, do we want to beat him? or I, I, can get, I can try to go for some some risky moves. Perfect. Right there. Oh, come on. You see? You see, that's... I mean, the, the controls. Like, I don't know. I hate video games. <laughs> just a dual, like a dual analog stick situation with the C stick, and it's just... I mean, I've played Resident Evil games. Like, I can deal with fixed camera angles and stuff like that, but I don't know. This boss fight's just kind of highlighting some of the weaknesses of the control scheme. Get closer. Get him! Oh, what? I blew up the other bomb. Did it hit his feet? No, it went through his legs, it looked like. Maybe you have to <laughs> wait till his head is down while he's either blowing or sucking. Mm. Like that? That sounds about right. I thought he was hitting him before. Every time he shot at the legs when his head is up, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. There, bam, right in the head. But yeah, it also yeah. hurts me. <laughs> well, this is a weirdly no, hard boss fight for like a game that's pretty forgiving. Besides that, oh, that green that's ghost. the worst. Oh god. This is going to be a final boss fight. That is what we are dealing with right now. This is yes. like Dark Souls. Eh, this could go on for days. Jim Riley's about to break into the window. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's from a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> As you can say, it's a Hugo boss fight. Because yeah. Jim Riley like, really likes suits. <laughs> he doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> there. Very nice. He's going to try to move away from his dumb head. I think you're getting it, Tim. That was the uh, best sucking you've done on this boss fight so far. Thanks. I sucked too hard, though, apparently. Yeah. But that was good. Thanks. I think you got it. I don't feel good about this. I just feel... I feel exposed and vulnerable. I think you might have him, if not this time, the next one. Yep. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll make the trek. Dun, 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 it's fine. Dun, I can dun. skip the heart. Really? Generally. That isn't a classic Mario song? Uh-oh. Oh. But now it is. <laughs> Associated with Luigi, I'd say. I don't know if they've ever... Revisited it in any Mario game or anything. Maybe like a sped up version. Mm. Look at it's even stuck in Luigi's head. <laughs> that was really clever though. I, I know we gave that quite a bit of praise of like mm -hmm. him whistling the own theme song, but it's good. I wonder what like if they had the idea like we want Luigi to whistle the theme song of the game. We don't know what the theme is yet. Or if like they came up with something that was so catchy that they caught people uh, whistling it. I thought it'd be funny if even the character did. Yeah. Mario. Ooh, nice Mario. moves. Close. Mario. <laughs> Mario. Mario. You should do that in the Bowser boss fight. Just scream for Mario. Yeah. I wish I could. Maybe I hope that'll I... just throw him off. That'd be just make him scared. You? Wow, you're really pathetic, dude. <laughs> um, or just scream it at Mario's face when I like <laughs> reacquaint with him. <laughs> <clears throat> so he's still fully clothed despite the fact that you found all of his clothes. Is he just packing a spare? Well, what was it? One glove, one shoe, 
And a star. A hat. And a hat. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. Ooh, maybe he's an imposter. Oh. Yeah, maybe he's not here at all. Could be. Just hanging out Is back in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Picking up a chick. Playing pool. <laughs> Sitting on a toadstool at the bar. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> beat this boss. Okay, I'll beat it. If all right, I'm gonna run like hell when he jumps. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And only shoot the bombs when his dumb head is down. But and just scrap it if I'm too close to him. I don't. Yeah. Hey, play it safe. All right, I'll play it as safe as possible. Well, within my ability, my limited Luigi's Mansion ability because of the uh, C stick stuff. Mansion ability. Did they ever reveal a creator in Mario 64 who created the paintings? No. No, they never really touched on that. It does remind me of it, though. Maybe that was evil. Just put down the Game Boy, dude. <laughs> What's it gonna be, Bowser? You or me? I'm the underdog. So Not if this game were released today, what would the, the DLC be? Would that be the Collect 50 Ghosts? Play as Mario. Um, <laughs> yep. Just jump on all the ghost heads. It'd be like uh, overalls. Different skins for your vacuum. Oh, yeah. Although this is a Nintendo game, so all of that is probably out the window. It'd be more coins to collect. Oh, yeah. More money. Yeah, Nintendo, when they finally did try DLC, it was just super weird. Like the 3DS Mario 2. Collect as many coins as you can. Everybody loves coins. <sighs> yeah, but don't base your There's whole a heart. game on that. How'd you yeah. do that? Oh. I don't didn't. know. I didn't do anything. Also, it's incredibly like picky about um, how much you have to be facing these bombs in order for it to work. What's going on there? Why did it hurt me? Like, I just don't understand some like of the... Like, you were sucking the whole time. I was. Yeah, I just don't understand some of like, the core mechanics of this <laughs> boss fight. Tim, have we really gone seven episodes of this uh, with the vacuum and the sucking and the blowing without you making a Wayne's World reference? Oh, it sucks as it cuts. Yeah. No, huh. I haven't. That's surprising me. There's a heart behind Bowser. What is going on with that? My, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting really annoyed with this. And, uh... I'll, I can just shut up. What can we do to help? Uh, I don't know. Tickle? Just talk? You want a little tickle? Explain to me what... Uh, well, <laughs> nope. I don't get to do anything run, because run, 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 Nice. I'm gonna go for it. I am gonna go for it. Okay, good. I mean, the angle, like, the camera angle was yeah. pretty clear, and I, I was, that was obviously my fault. <laughs> Tim's starting to get genuinely annoyed. Okay. What is, what is going on? Uh, you can't even see around him. I, I'm going to argue that this boss fight's a blemish. Maybe, maybe it's because I uh, didn't play it and it's time and place, but... Oh, come on. Well, so, okay. So I think that pretty much sells it that you cannot really hit him if he jumps after doing the bombs. You gotta wait for him to put his head down. But the, by the time he puts his head down... Oh, my. Oh, this looks real annoying. See, that fails video game logic that he sucks and doesn't eat one of those bombs yeah. in the process. Yeah. I don't understand That's that. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's I just don't get that at all. Ah. Get I want to understand. Oh, you king boo. Looks like a ring pop. Uh. Uh. Okay, see ya. <laughs> I'm glad you play these more than I do, Tim. I, I would not have the patience. I haven't had to play anything super frustrating outside of Mike Tyson. Nintendo boss fights are usually so good. I'm, I'm wondering if it's like, I feel like it's my fault. Ah, oh, jeez. Even when you hit him. Yeah, I'm splash damage. Just you and me, King Boo. Uh. And usually when you're moving like that, they try to aim where you're at at the time when they're aiming. Yeah. He, yeah. Led, that, he led that shot on you. 
What do you think, Reiner? Are we doing another episode? Yeah, I think so. Well, come on, he's got 80 health left. Oh, I'm sure it'll go well. Might be a little mini episode. Tim's got this. Nope, nope. We don't get to hit him this time. had episodes that have been devoted to just one boss fight. Before. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had short ones. There's like a Mega Man Legends yep. episode. Yep. Bowser's got some impressive eyebrows. Yeah, they're good moves good. there, though, Tim. Backing ah. up so you didn't get hit. I tried, but then, like, honestly, the aiming. The aiming's really rough. Nope, not today. Not gonna do didn't it. Kyle do a feature on the website about gaming's best redheads. Yes. Do we, do we ever talk about Bowser being a redhead? Because he totally is. I think so. Or is that a brown? That's super red. Yeah. That's like, like Seamus. In this one, is it the red. lighting that's making it a little red? No. He is a redhead. You had to do it, Tim. Yeah, well. Red whatever. Redhead redemption. All right. Well, that's uh, going to end the episode. There'll be my we're redhead we're redemption. We're the end, though. Which is great. And it'll be my redhead redemption next time <laughs> on that redhead. And we'll hopefully be back for the final episode, episode okay. eight, in a few days. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You are watching Game Informer's super replay of Dark Souls. We're taking on this nasty dragon on top of this roof. I'm your host, Andy Reiner. Jeff Cork is sitting here. Hello. Jeff, you think this is going to be it? Yes. How long is it going to take? It's going to take 15 minutes. So, three Crap. attempts? One attempt, two attempts? I'm going to say three. Uh, yep. Dan Reichert, what do you say? Three sounds solid. I know Tim's been doing his research, and uh, he's good at this stuff, so I think he'll take this big bully down. And Tim, best of luck to you, man. Thank you. He is intense no, this he's morning. in super oh, serious man, mode, he yeah. He is in, I'm going to defeat this mode. All right. Let's go, boo. It's Not a good start. Yeah, yeah, that's a great start. That really couldn't be better. Eh. What's the longest we've been hung up on a single level or boss or just difficult part? Like, we just can't get... Not because we can't figure out where to go, but because we can't beat it because of difficulty. Overblood. There was a racing segment that was really bad in oh. Overblood 2, right? Yeah, I do remember that. That one... Gosh that, darn oh. it. Tim told us to shut up at that point. Yeah, I remember there was him jumping on the boxes, but that was because he didn't put on the floaty boots. Yeah. Bah. Everything in Overblood 2, I'd say. Yeah. When you screw up in this fight, it just domino effects. Well, I, I guess the ultimate, though, is Tyson, but that wasn't a super well, yeah, replay. That, does, that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we could, we could still be recording those episodes. I'd do it. I bet, I bet Tim could beat Tyson within, like, an hour. Thanks, yeah, I Dan. could probably do it, too. Yeah? Yeah. Probably Can we put that on tape? Uh, that I could do it in an hour? Yeah, I just said I could. No, 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 I, I want to watch you. No, I don't have that kind of time. No? That's <laughs> we enter our eighth hour of recording Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> no time whatsoever. Are you kidding me? This is the closest we've come, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. This might be the shortest Super Replay episode this is ever. spectacular. Pace yourself. It's like Jason Statham and Crank or something. Just determined to get to the end game here. Thank you. These movies are silly. He's going to jump. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is going very well. Wow! There we go. Amazing. In the face of danger. This with is going the to suck be stream in his face. It's going to be very short. One mistake I made was going underneath the Bowser head a few times. Oh, and he just breathes right down yeah, on it. Yeah, straight down. There's not enough time uh, for me to. His head's backwards. Oh, you dummy! <laughs> <laughs> My, oh God! <laughs> <bad> <laughs> <mushrooms>. <laughs> no. This is awful. Jeez, Bowser, get it together, man. Whoa. Hmm? No. Wow. Jeez. Uh, I may have watched a YouTube video that taught me to slowly back up a little bit. That's, yeah, it looks like that helps. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a slight thing that helps a lot, so. Huh. Oh, Sorry to everyone who watched me blow it before. <laughs> it's, such, it's like the smallest little thing. Back up while sucking up the... Oh, God. We're at three minutes in this episode. Jeez. Amazing. Jason, I hope you have a very long video montage planned set to a lot of music. Jason laughed. <laughs> Come on. Bring it up here. Oh, oh so gonna this is going to have like a two-hour ending like Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah. You get to see Luigi move in 
to this new house in real time. Start a, start a family. Yep. Him and Daisy. Let's go. I think we, we know very little of the relationship between Luigi and Daisy. They're a very private couple. Yeah. It's really none of our business. That's true. It's none That's of our it business. it right here, guys. Hats off to Luigi. Yeah. If he can lock on to him. He's got well, it. Well, that was He's ridiculous. Got it. There we go. Is that oh, hey! That's all he wanted. Know. That's all he wanted. Uh oh, is a gem to give to Daisy. Well, you just decapitated Bowser. <laughs> oh, Jeez. God! Go live inside of him with Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really creepy. Oh, it was just some sort of hell roof. It was just Bowser. So did that oh, not happen? <laughs> Mario dead? Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. It it's wasn't the worst picture it. of Mario ever. A symbiotic relationship. Pulls his hat up and his eyes are gone like a Event Horizon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quit referencing that movie. <laughs> Have you only seen like I've four only movies seen four in your movies. life? Yeah. <laughs> Commando, <laughs> Terminator Two, Robocop, Big Trouble in Little China, Big, Lo Big Trouble in Little China, and Event Horizon. Horizon. Yeah. <laughs> Jason suggests we add that to the bingo card. Seriously, Horizon. I've heard about this movie from Dan like fifteen times Have you in seen the last it? like four days. Of course, I've seen it's it. It's creepy. <laughs> All right, we got the ending here. Welp. Welp. Maybe. Maybe there's like a... Oh, go get those other guys. Those other booze. Oh, we're going to okay. re reverse engineer him. Yep. This is weird. Unflatten him. Yeah. When was the last time you collapsed with relief and... Uh, what was the other thing it said? You must have collapsed with relief and... You guys weren't even reading this. <laughs> it said something about whelp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is like... This could have been Luigi's Sith moment. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. This, oh, he just leaves yeah. Mario in there? Yeah. <laughs> Mario's always takes, in the spot. He's got all his clothes anyway. He could just steal them and put it on. Oh. And then he'd be the star. He could have, like, torn the canvas off and sewed it onto his, like, leather jacket. Ooh. Do, like, a Buffalo Bill thing in the mirror. <laughs> That'd be surprising. <laughs> yeah, that would be very <laughs> un-Nintendo. <laughs> so what do you think Mario's reaction's gonna be here? Embarrassment. Yeah, he's never gonna get caught. Yeah, yeah. He's, never, he's never, except Mario's missing, right? But he never really says anything, so he's just gonna show up and jump or something, and then Yahoo. Give him a peace sign or something? Yeah, oh, yeah. his head. In a tank. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a good sound. Disturbing. I like that. I wish my washing machine made that sound. It moved like that. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Is, is it the same thing yeah. every time? I'm gonna kill them to get some new text here. And he goes. Okay, so those are the last batch of ghosts I got. Yeah, this is all Act 3, right? Mm-hmm. 4? Act 4? Okay, I get wow. it. Wow, jeez. Yeah, no, I murdered a lot of... have been here in a while. <laughs> a lot of ghosts. We just scratch his butt. <laughs> I mean, Egad's butt. Dollars to donuts. That's good saying. I don't understand that saying. I never have. Right. Are they going to say Bowser? Is it going to be like Ghost Bowser? Oh, King, it's, uh, it's King Boo. It's King, King Boo. Boo huh? So that was just like a Bowser husk. It was a suit. He's like a locust. Mm -hmm. No, he picked the way to strike the most fear into Luigi's heart. That's a good that point. Makes sense. That's like a Ben Horizon because he knew that Lawrence Fishburne oh, was gosh. really upset because his wife died in a fire and so he made fire. It's like Stephen King's It, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I think Ben Horizon's a little more respected. Reverse engineered. He's not going to be the same. Aww. He's playing the song. He's got like a droopy eye. Into the washing machine? This is how the world works. Are they playing the Mario team backwards? Yep. No, no it's sort of off It's tune. just crazy carnival. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Into the washing machine. <laughs> it's interesting. I've never really seen uh, through to completion a game where Mario is like, you know, missing. <laughs> I don't think there were many of those. A jerk. It's interesting seeing him not be the star. Yeah. But still be in it. It's kind of bizarre. Oh, he's broken. Is he Kill okay. it with fire. He starts, like, his head comes off and turns he, into a spider thing. And was falls that sweater or a tear? 
I think it was. No, he's crying. He's happy. Luigi's crying. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> nice. Oh, Luigi's finally got his day. All right, that's pretty great. Uh, I think he has brain damage. You should probably check on your brother. <laughs> he shouldn't be doing that that long. Probably needs food too. He's been in a damn painting for a few weeks. Yeah. And that scene. scene yep. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Point and laugh. End of game. His brother su suffers head trauma and he laughs. <laughs> and that's it. Wow. So Tim, that got a little frustrating toward the end. I was a little frustrated at the end. I think that as the game picked up the challenge, um, some of like the the it's a good game, but I think some of the flaws of like the the automatically inverted um, you know, aiming plus Fix camera while trying to do a dual analog stick situation. It's not that great, uh, but it's worth it. It's worth struggling with uh, for this game, I think. Uh, now, does this make you want to play the sequel more or less? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Joe just talked to me, and it sounds like I will be reviewing it. All right. So cool. cool. It's a cool way. I'm super happy that I got this under my belt beforehand. Um, I'm from what I've played of both this game and. Uh, Dark Moon, so far Dark Moon seems like it's just going to be better in every way. And I'm excited to try out the co-op stuff. And how does that control on the, the 3DS? It, like, instead of like flashlight stuff, you really, you like charge up a flashlight and it's sort of like a radius burst. So it's a little easier to stun ghosts, uh, which was something I kind of had problems with in this game. So, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Oh no, is this like a soundboard Mario? Yeah, this music is great. And Tim, what's the next game that's on your list of games that you got to check off that you haven't played yet? I've been thinking about Fallout Three a lot. Uh, okay. I know, and especially for like as much as like post-apocalyptic stuff, uh, I feel like that's something I need to figure you out. Also, that? I've been thinking a lot about Ninja Gaiden One for the NES, mostly because I've been listening to the soundtrack a lot, and I want to play that game just because of the soundtrack. That's a tough game, man. Yeah, that's a really hard game. That last level is brutal. Uh, stress test. Yeah, that would be Maybe. a good stress test yeah. if we could get to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks for letting me play this. Uh, it was it, it, there's something interesting about playing a good game versus playing a bad game. It almost feels <laughs> weird playing a good game in this context. Like I, I feel like kind of guilty. <laughs> like who's this for? Oh. I don't know. Oh. And he started a talk show. <laughs> oh looks, really? Looks great. Is it new? Yeah, oh. that's a charming little house. Yeah, so I think the That's more money you, Yeah, so you got an F. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you loser. But the uh, the better you do, the bigger the house you get. Oh, That's really? cool. I want to see pictures of what they all look like. That's a disgusting lesson in consumption. Is that really... <laughs> so the the better you are, the bigger your house is. It kind of... Yeah, yeah. that's kind of how the world works. Disgusting. Yeah, There's just, a bunch of empty space to put your garbage trophies in, but just, then you die. Just preparing kids <laughs> for, for how the world works. Yep. Is that all you get Nonsense. for your money? That's it. You can't buy love. Well, that's another super really replay complete for us, which is uh, fantastic. We got through that pretty quick. It was a little longer than we thought, but compared to our other ones, it was pretty short, right? Yeah. yeah. So thank you, Jeff Cork, for sitting in on all these episodes. Dan Reichert um, for your profane commentary yeah, in episode fun. one, which uh, I'm still getting angry emails about. Tim Turry... For being the rock on the controller. Hey, this was fun. And uh, Jason A. Striker for putting this bad boy together. Boo. And thank you all for watching. We'll Boo. see you uh, in our next Super Replay, which will be coming very shortly.